Welcome friends, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady. Today I'm going to share with you the cards that we made at our card party. And I'm so excited, we had such a wonderful time, and I think these are the best cards that we ever had. So, this was one of the little treats that everyone got. They got a welcome friends, and I showed you how to make this on the website, but I thought I'd show you how cute it turned out. Uh, the first card I made, this was my... Um, take off of the design space, the um, Anna Griffith card. It is so beautiful. She used hers in purple and I made mine in yellows and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And on the front I put tough times are what friends are for. The greatest treasures are those invisible to the eye but found by the heart. Isn't that wonderful? So that's the first card. The second card was done by Dorothy, and she used some 6x6 six six paper pieces and then used the stamp from um, uh, Close to My Heart, Be Still, and Know That I Am God, and it makes a wonderful little note card. We have uh, lots of friends that we send to, and I got another one of those. I got excited because I got two of them. See? Be Still and Know That I Am God. And these were the envelopes that it goes in, so it fits perfectly. Um, this is my daughter Jennifer's card. And she used some, uh, she embossed the back of the card, and we adhered this on. We had to make our own little uh, stem and a couple leaves, but she used buttons. And in the inside it says, you are in my thoughts and my prayers. And... Oh. Shame on me. I used my glue on this, and obviously I still have to get a little bit more off. On behind the ribbon, I like how it fits snug to the thing. This is a birthday card that Abby designed. It's make a wish, and there's five little pearls on the cake. Uh, the the stamps were from Anna Griffith's stamps that she just sold on HSN. Aren't they beautiful? Happy birthday on the inside, and the happy birthday on the front, make a wish. And this is the envelope that goes with it. This was one of my cards also. Hugs, kisses, and best wishes. And that too was on design space. And you could make it, and I just love it. Hugs, kisses, and best wishes. Life without friendship is like the sky without the sun. Okay, and... I had two of those, one I showed, and um, this is one that is was designed by Angie, and Angie has a new baby cricket, so she made some little goodies with her baby cricket. Uh, these, can you believe, she got these at the dollar store, and there are a bunch of them in, in a packet, and she emptied out the whole dollar store, and then it's stamped, Happy Birthday to You on the inside. And but she made the banners off the cricket, so good job, Angie. And let's see, a card from Anita. This is such a cute card. I think this is from um, Stephanie Bernard, uh, Stamps of Life. That stamp, it looks like her, you know what I mean. And then the inside, she's got a little flower on the inside. But isn't that just adorable? She um, embossed this with the Swiss dots on there. This card, I had to laugh when Laura told us how she made this card, what she got the ingredients from. Now, I've got a spot that I have to put a, a note on. I don't know what I'm going to use the card for yet. She made us a couple things so all we have to do is put it on there whether it be thank you get well soon or happy birthday we can just add it on there at the last minute and she got this card can you stand it you have to hear the story she went to Michael's she got the, these flowers on sale at Michael's and this was cards little cards, because I asked her, I said, how did you emboss that? I knew she didn't have an embosser. I said, how did you get that done? She bought the cards at Michael's, the, the little cards. 
And this was the other side of the card. This was the front of the card. This was the back of the card. And see how you can just do all kinds of things. It doesn't matter whether you have equipment or not. It, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And let's see what else we have here. This is from Allison. And unfortunately, Allison didn't make it to the party. She had her cards in early. So, of course, she got a full set of cards. Uh, but she did not make it to the party. Allison ended up with strep throat. And we told her she was really nice staying home with her cooties. So this she made off of... Uh, this was cut off of the Explore. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I have to show you one of Abby's cards. This is the card of the evening. We all laugh so hard. What a catch. Do you remember, and I'm going to open this up and you'll see what I mean. We always try to get a man's card. Do you remember Billy Bass? Well, that's what that is. That goes up on the wall and sings songs. Well, we just started laughing. What a great man's card. And so we have Billy Bass. She made us envelopes also, so we have that. And let's see. I'm in trouble. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I got it right. I got it right. This is Anita's card. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? We all have this little strip of paper. And then she put a black piece of paper behind it and punched out the edge. We put a bow on it. And look at this, how she folded it. And then in the inside, she just stamped happy birthday. Wonderful card. I love this. I've got to use my punches more often. Although I've been using punches now lately on the Cricut. This is my daughter Jennifer's card. And I had our tongue. Hogs and kisses it says. I actually put this on the other side. I, was, I actually got it off. But you can see a little bit of the glue that I did on the edges. So I kind of goofed on that one. I didn't win the prize, that's for sure. And this is one from Dorothy also. And it says, love you a latte. And on the inside it says, I don't have a problem with caffeine. I have a problem without caffeine. Coffee run. So, and we use the plastic um, envelopes on there. I don't know if everyone knows how to use the plastic envelopes, the clear envelopes. You just put the blank side up, you put this, you you put your return address here, their address there, and then you pull the tape off, put it down, and then put the stamp on here so it covers up that flap and it doesn't get caught in the stamp machine. This is another Laura card. She went shopping at Michael's and this she just used a little strip of paper she bought the kites she says they were on a closeout sale so she got the kites and all she did was take yellow paper print it up thinking of you and on the inside have a sky high day isn't that nice and got the papers you know so that was that and this is Angie's other card I'm trying to think if there's any more cards here. Yes, there's two more cards. This is Angie's other card. Isn't it cute? Nice and simple. Uh, Angie has just gotten her bug, so she hadn't, she, as a matter of fact, she put in extra overtime the last couple weeks. So the only one she did on, on her bug was that one with the, the uh, little um, banner going across. Uh, this is my card. This was also an Anna Griffith takeoff, and what I did, and I had this on my site too, I gave my mom, I actually made it for my mother, and, I, and I, every one of my cards I make it for somebody, but they also end up going into a card party usually. Um, but I made this from the Anna Griffith site on there, and I had to change some of the papers out, because of course I don't have her papers, and I changed this out and made my own instead of having her uh, 
little tags saying the different wishes on there and then I made this flourish also so and the last but not least and this card is so cute this is Allison's and we're so sorry that she didn't make it to the party but this also was done on the Cricut and what an interesting card isn't that she took and she put grass all over sky and then three little flowers and instead of putting the tops of the flowers on she used buttons two buttons on each one isn't that adorable at any rate that's how it went at the card party and I hope you enjoy it I did take lots of pictures of the ladies so that you can see what they actually look like I made each one of them hold their card up Abby held two of her cards at once because she didn't want two pictures so look at this isn't this unbelievable wouldn't you just love to go to one of these card parties and of course I have my other two because um, when you when you make a card you have your display card too so that's why I had two cards of some of them but isn't that awesome you have a blessed day thank you for joining us today at she's a sassy lady bye now